When you feel like giving up, you have to remember that that's the time when you mustn't. You never ever give up when times are at their worst. That's the time when you have to dig in and you have to move forwards. And what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about what I think are some of the important reasons you've got to carry on when you feel like giving up. First thing, you've got to connect with your why. What is it that you want out of your life? What is it that when you were growing up you wanted to do? What is it that you went to college for or university? When you started in your first job, did you see yourself staying there or were you looking to move on? Maybe you were looking for a job that was going to help you raise enough money to buy your first house. Or maybe if you don't have a car, you want to buy a car. And that is the reason you've got to look at for why you never want to give up. And what you'll find is as you get one thing, you'll want something else. And then there'll be something else along the way that you'll want further. And so what you have to keep in mind at all time is that your why is so important. It's a fact that obstacles are going to get in the way. You are going to have setbacks, whatever you're trying to do. And it's those setbacks that get in the way that you have to overcome. You've just got to accept that it's going to happen to you. It's just a stage in the process. It's just a step towards where you want to go. And you just have to live with it. It's no good thinking to yourself that everything will always run smoothly. It will not. And I'll let me tell you this straight now. If everything forever ran smoothly, where would be the joy in overcoming these things, in building a better life for yourself? If you didn't have struggles along the way, where would be the joy in looking back and thinking, look what I've done? Because that is so important to you. Just accept that you are going to have situations and you're going to have days when you want to ah, smash your head. And go, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. But they are only part of the process. And so don't worry about it. Because... If your why is big enough, the facts don't count. And that's why your why has to be big enough. Because you will need to be determined to move forwards. You have to think about getting to where you want to go. You have to use those setbacks as markers in that journey. We go, do you know what? I am not going behind that anymore. We are going forward. Or I am going forward. You have to use setbacks as a way to move on in your life. You've got to be grounded enough to be able to think to yourself, right, what is the problem? How am I going to come at this? How am I going to go at this? What am I going to do to overcome it? And you've got to think to yourself that why, what is your why? Because you've got to be at that stage where I don't care what they put in front of me. I am going to get past this. When you want to give up, it's the time you mustn't. It's that time when you've got to say to yourself, I am going to win. I am going to get to where I want to be in my life. Because you deserve that. And along the way, one of the things you also have to do is to go a bit easy on yourself. Because if you're anything like me, I know that you are at some stage going to say to yourself, I'm not good enough for this. I just can't do it. Why did I ever think I could? But you can and you will. You just have to be determined to move on. But be good to yourself. Realise that from the beginning, you do not know it all. You just don't. And you will find your way 
as you go and you find your way by making mistakes. Mistakes bring experience and experience will bring you the wisdom to know that you just need to keep going and that this is a process. It's not your fault things go wrong. Just forgive yourself and realize that you've got what it takes to move on. And you mustn't push yourself too hard because then you'll get burnout. You will know when it's time to take a rest. You will know. And at those times, don't beat yourself up and say to yourself, see, I haven't got what it takes because you have. Sometimes you just need to step back a bit, take a rest, take a breather and get yourself ready to move on once again. And there's something else that goes alongside that. And that's realizing that you are better than you think you are. You've got to be proud of yourself, you know, because a lot of us, we look towards our goals and we think to ourselves, I just haven't got what it takes. I don't know how I'm going to get there. But what we never really do is stand where we are now, take a look behind us and go, wow, look how far I've come. I can remember of having a problem back there and I overcome it and I've got to where I am now because it's one step at a time. Whatever it is that you want out of life, it's not going to just happen. It's a journey and you will take one step after another and then sometimes you'll take three steps forward and two steps back. But that's OK. That's part of life. And you've got to realise that... You may not feel as though you're getting very far. But every little step you take, every minute little move, you've got to be proud of yourself. You've got to realise that you've come forward because that's the way you're going. You're not going back there. It's nice to look back there every now and again to remember some of the good things but you're just looking back. It's just a glance and you go, wow, look how far I've come. Because you've got everything you need in order to move forward. You may need to learn something new, but inside of you, you have everything you need to move forward. And you know, I talk about all those tiny little steps. Well, you need to congratulate yourself for every single one of them you made. You need to have a little celebration, a little dance around the floor every time you realise that you've stepped forward. Because without those little things, those little tiny little bits of gratitude, those little tiny bits of celebration that you have, it's a long road otherwise. You can't just wait and keep pushing and pushing and pushing until you get to where you want to go without remembering those little victories that you get on the way. They're the things, the little highs, if you like, that are going to make you feel much better. You have what it takes. And all of those little wins, I don't know, you could have a, a stage where you move forward or your life's been miserable for a while and you suddenly break free of that. Well, that's great. Celebrate it. If it means that you have to go to the shop and buy a bag of sweets, do it. Celebrate those little wins. If you've been pushing and pushing and pushing and you've not celebrated for a while, get out there and celebrate it. You have so much to look forward to. And you, can, you mustn't give up. We've got a new year coming, not too far ahead. It'll soon be 2025. You could burst into that year with so much enthusiasm if you celebrate the little wins that you have one bit at a time. You've got to think back to your why. Your why is so important. And all the time, you've got to look back to why you're doing whatever it is you were doing. Because it's so easy when those obstacles back there that stowed you down they can knock the stuffing out of you, knock the wind out of you. And you will think, oh, am I ever going to do this? But when you overcome it and when you take that one step forward, you go, yes, another little celebration you can have with yourself. 
And that's what you need to do to move forward in life. And finally, the thing that I talk about a lot on this channel is surrounding yourself with people who are your supporters. You know, I call it the tribe. Your tribe of people are your cheerleaders. They're the people that love you, whatever. They'll like you, whatever happens. They will sympathize you and empathize you when things are going wrong. And they will be your cheerleaders to push you on to that next stage. You have so much that you can look forward to. And that's why I think you've got to keep going. There's no reason to give up. This life is a journey for each and every one of us. And you can achieve whatever it is you want out of life. You just have to keep going. There's no stop. If you stop along the way, then you won't get to wherever you want to go. But by keeping moving forward, you're going to be a whole lot closer to them than if you give up. If there's one thing I could say to you, it's this. There's a joy in keeping going. There is a feeling so good every time you overcome an adversity and you get to where you want to go. And that's it for this video. If you've stuck with me this long, don't forget to hit that like button. If you think that this video is of value, then share it with someone who you think it may help. If you've been around for a while and you're liking the content, feel free to subscribe. And up there, I'm going to give you another little burst of optimism to help you on your road so that you don't feel like giving up much longer. I'll see you next time.